Look at the camera and say the name again. Ufanya Jidadi. Jidadi. Male. Votaridi. Eh eh. Agozuma. Agozuma. Adavuka. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Street Food Series. I found myself here in the water region and I'm here to learn how to prepare the Igwe biscuit. I don't know the local name, I'm gonna be asking, and I don't I'm not really sure about where I am right now in the water region. So let's go, ask the people question, learn how this food is prepared, and come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now language is gonna be a barrier. So I have a friend with me who is a YouTuber and she's gonna be helping me do a breakdown and talk to the people and give me the vibe, you know, you know, you know, you know how to do it. So come, 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 guys, come. Ah. So before come come, uh huh. So this is a sweet lady. Hey hey hey! This one that you are trying to to steal my fans from me there. Oh. Guys, eh? everybody. I I I married. No. Hey. Let's discuss that. Eh, okay, guys. So she 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 give you the whole fill out uh, later on, but uh, uh, you know you know you know you know you know. Aha. Uh -huh. Anyway, so what are we gonna be doing today? So today we are basically going to be looking at the basic steps uh -huh. uh, involved in making the Aigbe biscuit. It's okay. also called starch bono here. Starch bono. Yes, starch bono. A bono means biscuit in a way. Okay. Yes. But who, who are you? I mean, she's a YouTuber. You guys have to follow her. Can you give her? Hey your guys, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Kinky Kelly Africa. If you're meeting me for the first time, da 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 da. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> anyway, so um, okay. What is your name? Who are you? Uh huh. <laughs> Jiwa? Jidadi. Look at the camera and say the name again. Ufanya Jidadi. Jidadi? Male. Votaridi. Eh eh. Agozuma. Agozuma. Adavuka. Eh eh eh. Ah, mommy, look here and say, yeah, 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 where solo? Uh -huh. where solo? So guys, where, where solo? solo? Yeah. I, I want to learn how to do them. Is there any dance that you guys do here? Agbaja. Agbaja. So you have teach me the Agbaja. Agbaja. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, so let's go and learn how to prepare the biscuit. Enough of the fun. Uh, mommy, come on, come on, come on. It's going to be fun. You, you can tell. Uh. What's the name of the biscuit in the in in, in Ewe? Akpono. 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 Mm. So Akpono V. Akpono means biscuit. Uh. Akpono V means small biscuit. Akpono oh. V means sweet biscuit. Akpono V V. Yes, so sweet biscuit. So which one are we preparing? Is it Akpono V V or Akpono? We are making starch pono. Mm. Basic. Ah, uh, starch pono. Mm. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So, what's the first step? What what do they do? I think they need banto miwana. Who banto miwana? Mi plana goma. Uh huh. Afi ya kuchiraji akbali nanka ojani rata. So she's saying that they go to buy the goma. Goma is starch. Okay. So they go and buy it. 
and then they mix it with water right and then they let it set overnight okay okay so can we can we go and see the the starch like she's trying to be a tacoon eh? Hey. So we are going to attend uh, to the first process which is the starch. I don't know what happens there, but I know you want to see, so come on. Alright. So th this is the first process. Yeah. Okay, so this is the can I see the cassava starch? Oh, so guys, this is the cassava starch. That's hey, that is used for the <laughs> that is used for the akono akono starch biscuits. So um, they they get a starch and then they and then they mix it with the water here. So okay. So as they're doing it, like uh -huh. they basically crush it right in between their fingers. Okay. And then to make a fine paste. So as you can see, like the water. The paste looks very smooth. Right, right, right. So you just basically crush it and you see that it makes an instant, you know, like smooth paste. And it basically just melts into the water. Oh. You see? So how, how long does this process take? Yeah. 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 Okay. She's saying that it depends on how fast you can work as an individual. Okay. And also, um, okay. And um, the quantity you're making. Okay. So it depends on um, how fast you can work right. as an individual. Right. And also the amount you're doing. Okay. So okay. for instance, let's say if someone has been doing this for like years, you know, like practice makes perfect. I mean, so some experience there. Uh -huh. So you'll be able to do it faster. But if you're not learning, it will take you a bit of time. Okay. And also depending on how much you have to make. So if you're making a bowl like this, it will definitely take you longer. But if you're making something like this, it will take you a shorter time period. Okay. So how do you how do you know that it's it's ready? Fifty hours. I can only Can you you got tree, you go, and you turn what you call a bubuma. Okay. Kaya Katani Shrive, me travel. Tanya no gana kia, Kaya Jani the Atta, Kaya Agadina Talaka. Right. That's your chiji, need a chiji fuba. Okay. You come to the ji. So, um, she's basically saying that how you know it's done is that when you um do this like it's smooth right right so what they do is that they allow it to set overnight right and then you see that it will look like something like this because now um the starch goes down and it starts to look like the block we actually melted in the water okay and then the water on top of it is strained away okay mm -hmm. okay Okay. Okay, so she's okay. Okay. Yes. So they buy flour sacks uh -huh. and then they use it to cover it. Then okay. they put um ash on top of it and then it absorbs some of the water. Okay. And then they now put it in the sun for it to dry and the sun will absorb the water, then it starts to look like the initial i um, sorry starch block that they use right but so why why do they go through this process because if they want the starch block the thing comes in the starch block so why do they go through the whole process of putting it in the water mixing it allowing the water to go to dry okay. Okay. Okay, so she's saying that if they do it like that, when you buy the starch initially, it contains um a saw and it contains uh sand particles. Okay. So that's why they have to go through this process to get it to be pure, to be clean. Oh, okay. And also if you use it directly like that, you um, if you use it to make the biscuits, it won't form the biscuits, you know, mixture and texture. Right. So it has to go through all that process to prepare it to be able to, to form with 
um, into the dough when they mix it with the coconut water. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so from here, what next? What, what happens after this? I bet you're fear and call me now. Me, your fear. I'm not going to get a little bit of 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 a little bit what are out to okay. get the chop? About to <laughs> crush the coconut and then take it to the blending mill or the milling machine, and then we come back, start preparing the biscuit. So, do I have to shout? Do I have to shout? No. Ah, okay. <laughs> Guys, hey, this this is not small weight, eh? Yeah. When I hit the bush. This is not really hard work. So we are about to get out the coconut, or we are about to go through the whole milling process. Sorry. Thank you very much. And thank you too. Ah. Okay, I'll quit. Uh huh. So we are done with the milling and we have to take it back to the house yes. for us to start the whole biscuit process. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Mommy, this is an my bro, my bro. No. Oh. Yeah, hey. Hey. Yeah. Ah. my bro. Hey, 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 Ah. Ah, bro. Ah, bro. Ah, bro. Ah, easy. Ah, papa. Oh. Say, who knows? Say, bro. Ah. Ah. Bro, papa. Now that we're back from the meal, we're going to take a washcloth, mm -hmm. and then we're going to take some of the coconut shaft. Okay. We're gonna put in the washcloth. We're gonna squeeze it so that the 
um, coconut milk will come out into a separate bowl. Okay. And we'll put the excess shaft in a different bowl. Okay, okay. So we are going to, it's more like sieving, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, normally, most people use a cheesecloth. Uh -huh. If you don't have a cheesecloth, you can use a washcloth. Right. Or even the flour sack. Right. You can just use any cloth that's light enough that the liquid can come out uh -huh. of the other side and the chaff can be separated. Okay, alright. So we are going to see. Okay, let's go and see. Uh -huh. So we put it here like this. Uh -huh. Like this. It's hot though. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so is it okay? Explain to you. It's, it's too much. Okay, see. So. Uh -huh. They are wrap it like this. It's too much. Oh, let's see, let's see. Maybe it's not too much like this. Mm -hmm. So we squeeze. Thank you. Okay. So we keep squeezing like this. Yeah. Okay. And so you feel like all the coconut milk is out. This one, if you don't have strength, you can't do it too. Yes, you need arm strength. Let me see your arm. This one, if you don't, if you, if you don't have muscle, you can't do it. <laughs> okay, so... But I know it actually tastes nice. Try it. Like salt and sugar do you, and Do you add salt to it? Mm. Give him, give him, give him. Give him. Mm. There's salt inside. Did you add salt? Yeah. Ah. So why? why? Uh, so she added the salt before she mixed it all together. Okay. So once it's from the granny meal, you add salt okay. and then you mix it. Why, why do you add the salt? So if there's no salt in yes. it, I use it to make the biscuit. It won't be tasty. Mm. Oh, so she's saying that the salt mm. and sugar combo is what gives it taste. So guys, we are done with the sieving process and I mean sieving of the coconut juice and milk, you know. So we are now going to go to the next stage, which I don't know, and I want you to come along with me. So come. So after after the sieving of the coconut juice, what happened next? So because the coconut um, juice already mixed with salt, right. it's just then mixed with the starch and sugar to form um, a dough. Okay. And then we go on to mold it. Okay. So we we have the dough mixed already yes. and then we are going to add. mold it into the flat biscuit. Okay. All right. So guys, we are about to go and mold biscuit. So what, what, what do we have to do? We'll take some. And how, how, how do I get the size? You give me the size. Okay. I'll roll it like this. And then I'll cut small. Small. Uh, hey, it's too big. Eh? Okay. Hello. Okay. So you okay. just take a little bit, like the size of Banku. Uh -huh. And then you. Like in our so a, a biscuit like this, the, this this one that I'm going to press down right now, how much will it be? A set like this. Are you doing it in a set form? Uh, like this. Uh, like one CD or 50 pesos from here. From here. Oh, okay. But if you go on the road, yeah. the price is different. It's high. Okay. What, what inspired the design? How do you guys get the design? We, we, are, we, are, we master it. So if you cut it like this, if it's too big uh, for the size, we reduce it. You reduce it? Okay. You can stamp it and see. Okay. So I can stamp it. It's about to stamp uh, mine. I'm gonna. Yay! 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 <laughs> you can still use this one. Eh, uh, okay. It will show another. So she's saying that when I'm putting it, I shouldn't put it too far from the lot I should make it close so that the moment I press it it joins with the um this one the initial ones because um, if you put them aside if it goes into the oven yeah it's going to separate okay so you have to put the dough close to each other so that they will join each other like this no okay okay yeah. okay but is there is there money in this so when you guys bake like a pan like, a pan like this, how, how, how much will 
we can't know the price unless we, we wash it and count it for the rubber like as you see it. Okay. Then we we like one set for rubber is twenty cents. Then we sell it then before we know the amount we make. Oh. And we now remove money for sugar, money for salt, money for coconuts, all those ones. Even that palm fruit. Yeah. We remove the money because we used to buy everything before we do. So when you remove all those money before you can see what you, you can also get. Okay. But what, what, what is the future of this business like? Is it, are you guys planning on expanding to be selling it to other places in Ghana? People used to come and buy it. It's Okay. Like some other biscuit too. So some people need it for many countries, so they come here to buy. Okay. This is where they make it. This is the town that they uh, make the uh, Okay, okay, okay. But where do you see yourself in the next five years with this business? I mean, everyone here does the same thing. Yes. But where do you see yourself? Are you thinking or planning on expanding it to make yours a big factory or something? So when we make it, people come and buy that is why we say we are growing in our business. Okay. When they come and buy it, then we make more. Okay, okay. So in case somebody wants some, because the people who are watching this video right now, some some of them will want to buy. How can they reach you guys? Do you guys have... Uh, they, they'll call us, then we'll make it. Uh, okay. Guys, so I'm going to be leaving that information in the description box below. In case you want to order a Kono, I shouldn't say a Kono V. A Kono. A Kono. A Kono. Okay. Okay. So, in case you want to buy a Kono or a Baby Skit, and this is very tasty. If you have been to Ghana before, if you, or if you visited a Vota region before, you know what I'm talking about. But you should try it, even if you've not tried it before. And I'll leave the information in the description box below. Do your best to contact them, order. And do you guys send, if I'm in Accra and I want some, can you send some to me in Accra? Uh -huh. Then we give you the number of the driver. Okay. When you reach Accra, he will call you, come and close the driver and collect yours. Okay, okay, okay. And how how long can this biscuit last? If uh, is after baking, how long can I keep it for? Like two months or three months. Two months, three months. Okay, but after three months, I can't test and strong again. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right. So the biscuit lasts for three months at most, and it has to be consumed fast. So if you are in the US and you want some to buy, or if you are in Canada, Jamaica, Australia, any part of the world, or even Tanzania, try, buy some, consume it within three months, and then ask for more, yes. So what's the name of this place? Is it, do you guys have a business name that maybe... This is Akbozuma Okay, that's the name of the town, but this... When we come here, you will get it. Okay. But I mean, you guys, you, do you have a, biz, uh, a company name for your brand? Is there a brand name? Uh, the person that holds, holds okay. this place, that uh, is, her name is Dora. Dora. So when you come to... When you come here, I want to buy. That is she you can see to buy. Okay, so when you, when you say you are looking for Dora, yes. everybody in this community knows Dora. No, Dora. She's the only person called Dora here. This in this house. In this house. Uh -huh. But if I'm standing at the church or station, I say I'm coming to Dora. Everybody will come and direct. No. Uh huh. That means you have to get her contact. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, this is an opportunity. They need branding, and those of us who are skilled with branding, this is a very tasty or a nutritious meal, snack actually, and um, it could go far if we convert it into a bigger business. They need branding and marketing and a whole lot so those of you who are looking for business opportunity you could be supplying people with it or come to think of it i don't have to say it all but i've seen the way out already and i believe that you've also seen the way out but let's go back to production all right so uh, what are we going to do from here we are going to bake the biscuit okay one fred and the design anyway the so ones we made so this for us and then this one's up for sale. Alright, so we have six.
Preparing the Agbe biscuit, which is called Akono, and you've seen how it looks. I mean, this is the final product. And Charlie, come on, come on, come, come on, come, let's try it. Ah, ah, uh -huh. ah, try for you. Oh, 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 this is Agbe love. Ah, oh, anyway, so don't forget to leave a comment in the description box below. I'll leave that information. And Charlie. What's your YouTube channel again so that people subscribe Kinky to you? Kelly Africa. Kinky Kelly Africa. Kelly yeah, Africa, right? Guys, All right. Subscribe. 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 Subscribe to French Channel. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah.